Hello, that's Heavy from SevereWeatherTV.com with the Severe Weather Outlook for the 6th of August. So what is happening? Still a lot happening. Bertha in the Atlantic, however, has gone post-tropical. In the Eastern Pacific, we've got Helio. In the Central Pacific, we've got Isel, Isel and Genevieve. And in the Northwest Pacific, Typhoon are long. In Mexico for today, there's the possibility for strong to very strong rains in quite a large bit of the country. The United States, we'll talk about this uh, just a little bit later with more explanatory maps or whatnot. Canada, warnings and advisories for severe thunderstorms, I would presume. In this map, we've got all the things that are going on. So let's talk about Izel first. Izel moving towards Hawaii. In fact, this island has the hurricane warning effect. This one has tropical storm warning. And this one back here, tropical storm watch at the moment. So this thing is moving towards there. This is also Julio. Julio could obviously be a problem in the future for Hawaii as well. Land hazards with the storm wind, dangerous surf, rainfall, storm surge, with all that. And of course, hurricane warning in effect for there at the moment. Here is Typhoon Halong. And at the moment, there are warnings in effect for these islands for high waves. The rest of the things are advisories for things like gale, high waves, storms, rain, stuff of the sort. So elsewhere, there uh, is so Bertha. Bertha's post-tropical now. No land hazards as far as I know on that one. We've got this tropical perturbation. What's the word? Disturbance. Disturbance is the English word. 20% chance in the next five days of this thing turning into something though. And then Julio, of course, obviously, again, could be a problem for Hawaii. And then we've got Genevieve, who is a hurricane, once again, who may well, I don't know how often this happens, be a hurricane transition across the international dateline, which would be roughly this, and then would be in the Northwest Pacific Basin, and then would suddenly be a typhoon. That could be an interesting situation, but no land hazards on that one as far as I knew. In the United States, here's an overview of the severe thunderstorm threat. So the green areas are just general thunderstorm threats. So not a whole lot of severe thunderstorm stuff going on at the moment. However, 10 warnings in effect all over these places and one special marine warning up there at the moment. In general, 2% chance for a tornado today for this area. 5% chance for the 58 mile per hour and greater winds in these areas. And 5% chance for the 5, 5 inch larger hail. That would be... That would be massive hail. One inch of larger hail, 5% chance of that. 5% chance for almost the entirety of the state of Missouri tomorrow. Five. But the boot heel. They forgot the boot heel, right? Is that what it's called? I don't know. That is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.